are made. They're all kingmakers. <laughs> Our first speaker, Ben Crawford, is a kingmaker of sorts. She's an extension educator for WSU. She is speaking, giving speech number two. Her title is Guiding Healthy Development Through Parent and Family Education. Help me welcome Jim Crawford.
So permaculture and the edging principle means to apply the marginal. That's, that's what it says, and that's what speaks to me. And I believe that the three program areas that I have taken on have incorporated that rule overall. The three main program areas in which I work are in the field of parent education. And the first is focused on preventing child abuse among high-risk families, hence the, the program in the jail and in the treatment center. The second program is called Children Cope with Divorce, and it's a required class in <clears throat> Chilean Douglas County, mandated by a superior court for all parents with children under the age of 18 years. And the third area is the Strengthening Families Program, which is a seven session program that involves the whole family, and it's, it prevents child abuse, child substance abuse and prevention. Some of the relevance and the impacts of these programs include the fact that more people than you might realize are impacted by incarceration. Just in Schland Douglas County alone, 450 fathers have children. Uh, and these fathers are involved in the criminal justice system. And children who have had a parent who's been incarcerated before is five or six times more likely to be incarcerated than by herself. And in the past three years, 300 people have received at least 16 program areas in my yoga and parent education, and the evaluations have shown that they've improved in eight outcome areas related to parental resilience. The Children Cope with Divorce contribution that I've made has been looking at the evaluation a little more closely and have that apply to other similar programs which are dispersed across the, the states. And the Strengthening Families program has worked with Spanish-speaking families primarily, and we've been able to combine, we've been able to get funding to help support healthy families, and also look at what works with Spanish-speaking families that, from a program that was developed by a very white, homogenous population in Iowa. And at first, I didn't really embrace parent education. However, now I fully embrace it because it is such a personal place to reach people. It's the most impactful way, and I continue to want to continue to create positive results in these program areas with families through parent education. And my time is up. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Very enlightening to speak. Yeah, that's Jen. Please take a moment and write comments to Julie. Jen. Or Jen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can't write about Julie yet. Yeah, well, Kingmakers know their name. Ready for my next speaker.
Our next speaker is Judy Marshall. Judy will be giving her third speech 